As we cruise on into February, Luna and I have been spending a lot of time together in skiing just about every weekend. From Jackson Hole, Park City, Solitude, and more, we've been exploring as many mountains as we can. This episode is no different as we find ourselves at Powder Mountain for the very first time. Forty-five degrees. Can't find my other sock. Actually, a really quiet night of sleep. If you guys checked out the last episode, I basically slept on a just like in a neighborhood. So I want to see if we got a ticket or if we are good to roll out of here. Gonna be the moment of truth on this one. I think we're good. You're good to go. No ticket, so let's get out of here. It's okay, buddy. Let's get out of here. Today's episode is brought to you by Powder Mountain. I've never been here before. It's a mountain up north in Ogden. Okay, so that cat ride should be available on your email. Okay. And while you're here at the lodge, use our Wi-Fi wi to pull that Good up. Morning. Okay. And then take a screenshot yeah. on your phone so you have it in your photos. Okay, Bye. perfect, thank you. The ticket is acquired. One of the other things I bought here for about 20 bucks is they do like single ride cat, cat runs. So I could buy a cat which is a snow cat to bring me up part of the mountain for like 20 bucks. So I ordered one of those runs just because I'm here, so why not? It's driving up this huge hill to get here, and so everything just kept falling out of the shelf. So I gotta clean this up. I gotta clean this up, and then we can start the day. All right, breakfast time in the van. Cleaned it up a little bit, enough to get going. Eggs, Canadian bacon, gonna make some oatmeal after this, bring some snacks with me. Something cool about Powder Mountain that I haven't personally experienced a lot at ski resorts is that you actually drive up to like the top of the mountain kind of, so all the lodges and stuff are at the top, so like you kind of click in and ski down right away. So it's almost, it's like almost reverse, if that makes sense. I briefly mentioned this, but they limit their tickets each day in order to keep like a good experience with the lift lines and everything else. So they limit their season pass sales and they limit their day tickets. So this is how I make my coffee in a van, just because you can't really use a coffee maker. You can, but uh, why not use a beautiful pour over. Big old cup of joe. Woohoo! That is so good, it's unreal. I gotta stop talking. Time to get ready. I'm not super sure where exactly I need to go. I just kind of followed the crowd up to this uh, this point here. It is a beautiful day out here. You see like perfectly groomed corduroy blue sky. Good temperatures, so it's gonna be a great day. It's one of my favorite days. Love the pow days, but it's hard to beat a bluebird day. It's easy to film, all that good stuff. So let's go. <laughs> Woody's World, and you can see I came to the road. So I'm gonna have to take my skis off, cross the road, and then I ski down back to the road that I drove up, and apparently there's a shuttle pickup that'll just pick you up and bring you back up to, to like the base where I just was. So the train looked pretty cool. I'm sure it's not as track, um, but this is a first for me. And then I think I'm gonna go do the snow cat right from there. So this should be kind of fun. But I mean, guys, look at this view behind me. That is Look both ways. We're good. Ha, this is so crazy. All right. Woody's World. Enter through the gates. Watch this way. There's the bus. 
good timing. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good. Good. That's good timing. <laughs> it's absolutely perfect timing on the shuttle. As soon as I came down, the shuttle must pick me up. I think if you push as far skiers left as you can, you have to do less walk. Because if you come down too early, then you got to kind of traverse your way down the road. It's really cool though. Taking the shuttle back up uh, to the to the resort would be a lot of fun. really is interesting just the layout of it all and how everything works but that is such an insanely cool feature to be able to ski down to the road like that and have the shuttle bus pick you up and then it drops you off really wherever you want but I, I'm almost on like the ski school side it's kind of like a designated hill and lift for the ski school it seems like but this is the way you get to the snow cat so real quick a snow cat is basically it's what grooms the run so when you see like a nice groomed run that's what a snow cat is so it can kind of traverse all of this terrain pretty easily and powder mountains off offers like lift rides on the snow cat to skiable terrain and i paid 22 bucks i think for a run i don't really know what to expect but i figured if it's an option it's open why don't i'll experience it show you guys what it's like with a snow cat and all that good stuff, but just a beautiful, gorgeous day. Hey man, I have a screenshot on my phone, will that work? Yep. Shit, can you zoom in that top part? Can that work? Yeah, all good. Hell yeah, thanks man. There's a cap behind us, guys. Service. All right. Thank you, brother. Appreciate the ride. That snow cat ride was pretty cool. You kind of all sat in the back as an open cat ride. Um, definitely pretty sweet. It is so bright out right now. I might spend just a little bit up here, maybe have a snack enjoy these views because I don't think it's every day you get to be up here but really beautiful well guys it's time to drop in I don't know really if I made the right call in terms of bird but I just kind of pushed all the way left by the road hoping it's to pay off it's beautiful up here it really is so I just recommend that cat ride for the views but let's go down look at that beautiful alright let's ride nice oh my goodness Basically, you ride the other side of this area, so you can kind of get to the shuttle on two different ends here. I've been doing one off like Woody's World, I think it's called, so I want to see if I can explore the other side of this. I think I made it to the other area that I want to try to get to. It seems like there's a small hike I can do just up this ridge, which looks to be all untracked or a lot of lines left but i'm sure the snow is um a little tough but i think for one last sort of send off that's going to be the move so yeah it's it is so beautiful back here but just a short hike up this shoulder here 
and I think we should be able to drop in. I might try to just skate some of this and then maybe if it gets steep, I'll have to take my skis off. But for now, let's see what we can do. Ugh. end up going all the way up to the top of the uh, the hike here, this ridge, for the only reason that I'm the only one out on this face, and this face has been sitting in the sun, and basically four other people died in the Utah avalanche yesterday as of making this video, and the snowpack is just so unstable and dangerous. I know this is controlled for the most part, but I just, I don't want to take any stupid chances, and it's just not worth it. So, anyways, it's still amazing. We still got some fresh lines basically all over and this will kind of funnel back down towards the road so again I, I don't know anything about avalanches or anything like that but I'm just trying to stay more lower angle stuff but I don't I really don't know anyways let's go pro up and start working our way down What an absolutely sick freaking day at Powder Mountain. I scientific comprehensive review. That mountain is freaking dope. Absolutely dope. So many like so much variety, you know. Make sure you leave enough room for the person in front of you to open up their doors, whether it's a truck or another car, because like I can't can't open. So now I have to probably pull forward or wait for this person, but there's just no need to get this close. You know what I'm saying? Whatever, it's all good. Well, Powder Mountain, it was real. It was a ton of fun, and I definitely need to come back here. Highly, highly recommend this little playground is what it felt like, it was just a total playground. I definitely recommend you either have good tires or a four-wheel drive vehicle, because this is a massive hill that you have to come up to get up here and it's a 16% grade getting down. So we're gonna take it nice and easy. Luna's got it, no problem, but definitely gonna be heavy, hard on the brakes. I'm on the highway, on my way home back to Park City, and I wanted to sign off the vlog, but there's this thing, excuse the highway noise, called the Devil's Slide. Look at this thing, where is it? Right there, literally two huge, limestone sheets of rock that basically came together and now they're vertical to each other and it's called the devil's slide because the, pe the pioneers who discovered it said it looked like a slide only fit for the devil so a little bit eerie but it does make sense anyways i'm gonna sign off the vlog i hope you guys enjoyed this episode i had a ton of fun making it putter mountain definitely gets my stamp of approval so thank you guys for watching i'll see all of you guys in the next one take it easy fam <gasps>